Pope Francis traveled again, this time to Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. It is the first time that a pontiff has visited the Arabian Peninsula. Among the most important themes of this apostolic mission, there is interreligious dialogue. In Abu Dhabi, among those present was the apostolic administrator of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem, who described the most important moments of this event in the interview. First of all, the conference organized by the Islamic University and attended by the religious leaders, who essentially discussed the theme of fraternity. The second moment was the most important, the meeting of the Pope with the Grand Imam al-Adza, a historical meeting that marked the recent history of the Middle East and especially the relations between Christians and Muslims. Finally, the Archbishop mentioned the Mass that Francis celebrated for 140,000 Christians. Ibrahim Faltas, of the Custody of the Holy Land, was also in Abu Dhabi and spoke to us about the Congress, attended by 700 people from 200 countries, representing religions from all over the world. They talked about fraternity, about the importance of accepting each other, of being brothers, and they used this term a lot, brothers, we must all be brothers. The highlight of the meeting was the signing of the Document on Human Fraternity for World Peace and Living Together, signed by Pope Francis and the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar. The text itself is important, as well as the fact that a joint declaration on the importance of this text has been made together. Secondly, it draws attention to the faith that we Christians and Muslims have in one Creator and merciful God. Hence the need for a relationship of fraternity among all men and also of responsibility towards everything that concerns humanity and creation. The Custos highlighted other themes of the document, such as the avoidance of the exploitation of religions for purposes of violence, or the recognition of the right of the other and the freedom to profess one's faith, the promotion of education to peace and dignity of women of different religious cultures. He added, we are not talking about dialogue among religions, which could sound abstract, but about dialogue among those who believe, that is, among concrete subjects. Furthermore, they remembered the meeting between St. Francis and Sultan Malik at the Kamil, which took place 800 years ago and which will be celebrated with the festivities from the end of the month in Damietta, Egypt. An encounter based on mutual respect, on dialogue among believers, and I would say also on the need to build relationships of friendship among believers of different faiths. An important meeting not only for the Holy Land, but for the whole Arab world and even more for all humanity. It was not just about the Holy Land, but about how we can live together, like brothers everywhere, in the Holy Land, in Egypt, in Iraq, in Syria, in Yemen. We talked about how it is possible to live together, Muslims and Christians, as brothers. It is a meeting in which we talk, for example, about overcoming the concept of minority, which implies a note of inferiority, to say that we are all part of the countries we live in, we are all citizens, fundamental rights must be the same for all and granted to all. Gli stessi per tutti e riconosciuti a tutti.